Most of the time, the root cause of a 12 coat is not related to a failed part, although, yes, sometimes that can be the cause. Welcome to another Nord's Tech Tip. In this video, we'll go over the error code 12, which is a repeated flame loss. In other words, the unit fires up due to a hot water demand, but for some reason, the flame goes out. The unit clears itself, reignites, but again, the flame goes out. This process happens six to seven times before the unit shuts off and gives a 12 code, alerting you of the problem. Most of the time, the root cause of a 12 code is not related to a failed part, although, yes, sometimes that can be the cause. More often than not, the error code can be traced to an outside factor. Let's divide this into two situations, 12 codes on brand new installations and 12 codes on existing older installs. For new installations where the error code pops up right away, you'll want to inspect things related to gas and venting. For gas, make sure the inlet gas pressure always falls within the minimum and maximum rating of the unit. Most natural gas units require between 4 and 10 and a half inches water column, and for propane units, between 7 and 14 inches water column. If in doubt, the gas requirements are listed right on the rating plate of the unit. Now, keep in mind the inlet gas pressure needs to always be in range whether just the tankless is being used or every gas appliance in the home. This is why we recommend a full set of inlet gas pressure tests are done before leaving and calling the job complete. Now, this doesn't actually take as much time as it seems. It'll add an additional five to 10 minutes to the job. You start by taking a gas pressure reading at the inlet of the tankless while it's idle and no other gas appliances are running. This reading is your static or standing gas pressure. Next, open up a hot water fixture or two so that the unit fires up with a moderate demand. The inlet gas pressure will likely drop a small amount, but stay above the minimum requirement of the unit. This is your dynamic or working gas pressure. Now, take it a step further and open up several hot water fixtures so the heater is pretty much maxed out. Once again, check the pressure to make sure it's above the minimum. Finally, Leave the unit running at a high demand and turn on all other gas appliances that are likely to be used at some point while hot water is used. This could be a furnace, stove, oven, clothes dryer, whatever gas appliances are at the house. If the inlet pressure at the tankless is still above the minimum requirement, you can feel confident that the tankless will not have any problems related to the inlet gas pressure. Now, inlet gas pressure is not the only aspect of a new installation that can cause an Erico 12 or even other combustion problems. Venting, and more specifically, correctly installed venting is a critical part of the proper and safe operation of the unit. While there may be a few aspects of the installation you can take shortcuts on, the exhaust venting absolutely should not be one of them. Poorly or incorrectly installed venting can not only cause problems with the unit's operation, it can put the occupants of the home at risk in extreme cases. In less extreme cases, bad venting or terminations can cause the unit to draw in its own exhaust, snuffing out the flame. Terminations without the proper clearance, incorrectly assembled concentric terminations or using standard end vent on a unit that requires specialized concentric venting can all cause 12 codes, noises, or other combustion issues. It's imperative that the guidelines in the installation manual are followed, otherwise you're just asking for problems. Now, let's go over a few causes of 12 codes on existing, older installations. One of the most common causes is rather simple. The flame rod in the unit has accumulated buildup and it no longer consistently senses the flame. This can usually be resolved by cleaning the flame rod with the rough side of a sponge, a scrubbing pad, or even a dollar bill. In some cases, if the flame rod has a lot of corrosion or other damage, it might need to be replaced. Similar to a dirty flame rod, a dirty or obstructed burner or gas manifold can cause a 12 code. If the correct amount of gas cannot enter the burner, 
the fan ends up blowing out the flame. Correcting this is a bit more involved as it requires taking out a couple parts from the unit to clean properly. Some factors outside the unit could be related to replacement or addition of another gas appliance, which increases the overall gas demand. Even repair work or upgrades to the gas supply lines in the neighborhood could affect the gas supply to your home. Lastly, for those of you in California, you may have an earthquake safety shutoff at your gas meter. These can be tripped even if there is no earthquake. I've been to homes where yard workers, tree trimmers, and construction workers remodeling part of the home near the gas meter have bumped them hard enough for them to shut off. These are pretty easy to reset, but you should consult with your gas supplier if you suspect it's tripped for the proper reset procedure. Now, this video can't cover every single possible cause, but it should help you get familiar with the common causes I've seen over my 12 years at Noritz. Feel free to sound off in the comments with any causes and solutions you've come across. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful.